I think streaming, oh, my son gets so mad. I had to uh, pay to watch the little after show by the one dude who, who talks about the events. And he showed the score for the final event. Oh my gosh. And it was like Tom 20 seconds, Brian Shaw, like six plays 39 seconds. I was like, well, fuck. He won. Okay, I'm back. Finish the waffles. My uh, son was big man. Um, yeah. Pro Star Man, I think. Pretty cool to watch. He really felt like a happy show. Um, I, I decided, or at least I planned to. Uh, Add more volume to my, at least my accessories. I used to do eight, and I've dumped it up to like doing sets of twelve. But I know it's a lot of times I don't get that. Not 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 a to failure feeling, but like I like two or three more sets of me. So um, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change things up to. My goal is to do like four sets of 15 to 20, four sets. Sometimes I do two sets depending on what it is, like shrugs, I only do like two or three sets. Bicep curls, tricep, bicep curls, and shoulder uh, dumbbell exercises. I usually do like three sets, maybe four. But I'm gonna try to do at least four sets of shooting for 20. But, and I'm gonna try to do a little more heavier weight than normal, maybe add five pounds. Um, so like, for example, when I do uh, front raises and uh, side raises, I really hit my shoulders uh, on my neck, where I sit sore a little bit. Um, I usually do a set of 12 at 10, 15, 20, and then I do like a set of eight at like 25. Well, it's more like a ladder that I do, so I'm gonna try to stop that and I'm gonna do like a fixed set of like, so we'll do four sets of, 12, uh, four sets of like 20, 50 pound dumbbells, or if we're even possible, 20 pound. That's the thing we'll do. Um, yeah. I believe some of the biggest changes I've been doing. Yeah, I think that's I've been looking at. Like Mick Lai, everybody was like, bro. Brian Shaw, he, he gets his food by trifecta. I looked at the website last year. I remember it, I was like, oh, no, too simple. Looked at it again this year. Same prices, obviously, but. Four meals a day for a week on the clean meal uh, prep routine, whatever. 360 bucks a week. That's only four meals a day. I want to, I can't afford it right now. So that's why I was looking for like a meal card website. Maybe it'd be cheaper or I could work around it. Um, so I do six meals a day because I get hungry. Nighttime especially, I kind of, on both ends of the wake, depending on when I wake up, I eat two, three hours later, or if I eat, like, so what I do now, I get up at 5.15, um, I take a shower, uh, I take a shit up shower, and then I, I cook my eggs and my oatmeal, and I eat that before I go to work, before 6.30. I get done around 5.45, by 6 o'clock, I'm eating. Um, at 6.30, I eat. So I usually, I don't know what I'm doing. Based it off of this week, I, and uh, two weeks ago, when I was also working at the office, getting up two hours earlier than normal and eating right away, within an hour waking up, um, I clean my eggs, I can only eat about half my oatmeal. And I make three packs of the oatmeal, which is like 100 grams of oatmeal or whatever, something like that, 120. I'm not used to that. I usually get up at like 7.15. It's not a time getting up, but it's about how soon after I get up do I start eating. At nighttime, it's like, always in the afternoon, it was real different. At work, I eat around. Because I have a 45 minute drive from work, 
I close it to when I get off, so that I'm not as hungry when I get home. I use it here at home when I work from home. Um, I go over and get 15, make my food, uh, eat it, and then 4.30, I, I'm off work and I'm, I'm getting ready to start working out. When I'm at the office, I get up at 4.30, get home by 5.30, depending on traffic. Um, I eat around 3.45, 4 o'clock, and by the time I'm off work, I'm done eating. I, I have a protein shake as well with that, uh, with that meal. Um, so it's like an hour already in between my last meal. And then I did like 15, 20 minutes, you know, make my bottle, change over, get everything. It's like, damn, bro. And then from there, I get done working out an hour and a half later or so. I don't eat dinner until like even like an hour, two hours after that. The second I start working at 4.30, I get done by 6, 6.30. I don't eat dinner until like 9, 10 o'clock. That's just how it is, man. That's just how it is. If I get hungry, I'll eat something. But the day that I eat, it won't be healthy. It won't be good. It's like a cheat meal. So I'm trying to, I want to go to six meals a day compared to my normal breakfast, compared to my normal four. And then there'll be no reason to skip to no tea meals. There'll be no reason to tea meals because I'll be evenly, I'll eat it out to where I'm always eating. I'll always be hungry. And then like also, that'll better my macros because it's more fixed on like actual, like from a like, like trifecta, their, their, their macros are pretty legit, pretty good for what they eat. They're expensive though. A pound of chicken is like 12 bucks. I go to the Walmart, a pound of chicken is four bucks. A pound of bison, it's really good, Brian, from what I Brian saw in the video with y'all. It's like a really good quality meat. 26 bucks for a pound. Fuck no. If I was gonna eat six meals a day, seven days a week from trifecta, I'd have to pay 500 bucks a week for food. Sure, it's cooked already, and throw my microwave and meal prep and everything. It's just the value of the food is just so expensive. I get it. They make it for you. They season it and everything. And they send that shit too. Oh, you can throw that shit in my way. So, remember one day when I'm big as shit, if I get sponsored by them or something, they buy and saw how you, if I get to that discount, if I get on that level, then I'll probably try back. Yeah, man. Nah, give me all the food. But, we just got done eating our four waffles.
And uh, oh, so let me uh, move this over here. I didn't like it uh, when it came to death. Um, so we're gonna go a little, little lower than that. Um, I was using this bar pretty much as a. I was watching. I was looking at. I, I was watching a video. My videos. I was looking at my hips to the bar to like determine if I went low enough. Like right there. Like, if my head go below the bar, then uh, that's how I know that I'm low enough. And I was kind of pretty close. I was like right here, but I was like barely, barely. So I was trying to look a little bit slower. Um, but we did the 315. So my my my, my dilemma was: do I go 365, then go up 20 and 20 pound increments? So I do 385 which will like give me a good feeling of how my current PR will go. And I do my PR, and then that will give me a good feeling of what I want to get today, at least 425. Um, and the program says uh, 445 is estimated one or max, but so many factors go into working out and stuff, and today might not be the best day. Uh, I try to make the best out of it today, but yesterday, um, but you know, shit happened. So uh, we're gonna shoot for at least 425. That's 20 pound PR in nine weeks, so in two months, um, which is good for me. With that logic, I get like a, with that logic, 120 pounds in a year on a spot. That's good. It's good numbers for me. Um, but yeah, so I think we're gonna go 365 because we haven't even used the belt yet, and we're not gonna use chalk until 405. But yeah, the belt makes a big difference. My stomach hurts a little bit, so I'm gonna have to like position the belt right so that it doesn't like squeeze on the wrong front of my stomach. But um, yeah, I think we're gonna go to 365 and we're gonna go to 25 increments. Um, so far, I feel good. Nothing sore, my back feels good. Um, my legs feel good. So we'll go 365 on, throw 25, and then clip. Um, 315, throw 25. So this, we're fucking, we're, we're flipping out right now because we just hit 445 when we thought 425 would probably be the highest we get today. But once we did 405 and we realized how easy it was and you know, we were implementing all our cues, I just kept going up. I'm only been going up by 10 pounds, I've been trying to cut it up. 
not trying to go too crazy, trying to get as much of a clear as I can. So I just did the 445, and I was like, I got a little more in the tank. I struggled a bit at the end. Well, I didn't say I struggled, but I struggled a good, good chunk at the end. But I had enough, I had enough in me, you know, maybe five, 10 more pounds in me. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. We're gonna go big. Um, so we got 460 on the bar right now. Currently we have a 40 pound PR. If we hit this, we, we, then we succeeded in getting a 55 pound PR on spot in only eight weeks. That's a jump that we would, they're sure we should get normally, reasonably, that's, that's, that's the jump you should get, but mentally I was like, I, I didn't think this would be what we'd get in only two months. You do that math right there, how I was talking about, you know, two months, 20 pounds, 100 pounds, 20 pounds in a year, that's all cool. When here we just did, we potentially get over a 50 pound PR in two months, you know, two times six is, is 12 months, so six rotations of two months, 50 pounds, that's 300 pounds on the spot, bro. Just kidding, that sounds insane and we wouldn't get that. But, and I don't know if it's because it's a, because I ate right before this and like I'm not even hungry yet. I don't know if it's because I got the elbows, sleeves on, because I don't know if they even help. But you know, I'm feeling tight and everything. I feel real good, like I get up the rack and I I don't, it's not that wobbly. It's I, real tight, real feeling, real stable. And I go down. And I'm like, good, 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 good. And then it's like right here where I'm like, I, I think real quick, like, am I low enough? And on the 435, I was, um, I went, I was a little, like I got to that point where like, am I low enough? And if I think I'm not, I'll drop it just like a, like, like, just like a little bit like that and come up. On the 435, I didn't do that. So it was like very parallel. But the 425 was good. Uh, the 445, I think, was around the same as they did the, feel like either the same as the 435, like very parallel, or I got a little low, I don't really remember right now, because we're really hyped up. Um, honestly, the, I contemplated doing 460 just because if I fail, um, I, I could raise this one up and then not affect my squat and it be more uh, safe for if I fail, because I could drop the back and not have to go down that far. But because how low it is, I gotta like, go like this. I gotta bring it to the ass to the grass. And even then, as you see, my shoulder is way up. So if, because I have my hands really far, I'm afraid that I pinch my hands. So I let it go back. It's, it rolls down my back, which obviously isn't good. Um, so that's the, and that's my fault right now because I'm gonna try it anyway. And you know, I can injure myself, but like my ankles are kind of getting in my, and just because I'm using that as a reference for my depth. Cause like, I'm still, I'm, I, I'm getting the, I got like the muscle, mind, mind, muscle memory connection of like how, like how low is low enough. But like I barely touch this, you see. So I use this breath, this bar as a reference. But um, we're gonna try it. I mean, I, and we'll, we'll know pretty quick too. I know, I'll know before I even get um, to the bottom if I'll be able to make it back up. Like my first sonus is when I bring it and I, and I get position. I can feel, you know, if it's if it's really heavy, that if I think this is going to be a problem, and then as I lower it, about right here, right before I get to the bottom, is what I'll know. Oh, we're not getting it because then like it, it all like hits me. But um, my ass is pretty sore, so this will be the last rep. Um, I mean, I'm happy either way, I got 40 pound PR. Even though that's what the program says for at least 445. You know, I get 460, I'm gonna put me on it. And I feel good, bro. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna grind through that. We're gonna try so hard to get through that. Cause that 445, um, we struggled a bit. Uh, I think that we struggled a decent amount uh, to lock out, but 15 pounds is like, not is like 3% more than, um, cause like I only added like 3% to the bar. So it's not a whole lot, but 15 pounds, that makes a difference. That'll, you know, the, the 15 pounds is a lot, even though it's a little, but um, we're gonna get to it. Let me uh, think of a song real quick. And we're just gonna, we're gonna do it. Um, I've been like about 10 
minutes since the last set. Um, and like, I, I feel like that might have been too long of a, of a rest. Cause like my ass gets sore as time goes on. Um, Alexa. Ooh. So as you see there, um, I failed. And that could have ended pretty badly, <laughs> which is it's totally my fault. I mean, um, the problem, so like in that position where I was, I used it like a teaching moment. I mean, even though I can't really teach that, I haven't failed that much because I usually don't go, I usually keep the, my ego, I usually get the best of my ego. But um, in that situation, bar going to go two ways, over you or behind you. Because my hand is so far, I'm scared to go behind me and let go because I felt like, felt like either, I'm not going to be fast enough to get out under, and when it, when it comes back, it's going to slap my back. Or I'm going to be slow and my hands will get pinched and I'll probably destroy my hands. And then also fall back and break my head. Or in this situation where I dropped as low as I could, but it still was too high, and if I would have raised it one, and been okay. Probably think I think it would have been pretty okay where I was. Where I couldn't, I, I started leaning forward because I was so low, I lost balance, and it went over my head. The only thing I could do is ensure that my head goes under and out, uh, lower than the bar, so that when I go down and the bar hits this shit, it doesn't sock me in the back of the head. Um, but it is, I wasn't really slow with it, and it kind of like, Rub off my back and off my neck a little bit. Um, I feel good. I didn't hurt myself or anything. Um, but I guess that, that's my fault too. You know, I knew I only had maybe five pounds in me. Ten probably was too much. I probably had five pounds in me, but I went up fifteen. Uh, you know, eagle. My big eagle got the best of me. But um, you know, we got lucky. Played it safe, sort of. Sort of. Um, Next time I know that for sure we're gonna raise it one so that we don't fall into this situation. Um, but it's all good, I had a 40 pound PR, I'm happy. Um, so this new cycle that we're running, I'm gonna sit a little bit my ass is, and this is gonna be down in the video. I'm trying to raise it back so I can see my face. Man, this is some heavy weight, I can't even roll this shit. Look at that. But um, I was thinking about throwing in just, just throwing in it 
I do the numbers that says there on spot. I mean on the because on the light days are light volume work and the heavy days uh, as the weeks go on decrease in reps, heavy in weight. Um, I like it a lot because it's a heavy single and then it's some rep work. Um, I like that a lot, which I think I'll do that. Um, but yeah, for, as for squat though, we're gonna go through the program. Um, don't know yet, I'm very happy. I, I fell at 450, but I'm happy I got 445. Just because I wasn't confident in myself before I started up. And I was doing a lot of factors. Um, I stress a lot more than more warm ups. Um, I ate the, like, the right thing before working out, so I wasn't, uh, if something wasn't a factor, I'm still not hungry. Um, I think I might try that for, for the next couple, for the next couple workouts to see if that has been, because my workout's been on and off the past couple of weeks, or the past like two weeks. Let's see with this new workout making me hungry, so I'm going to test this a couple of <laughs> Strawberry jam uh, waffle before I work out and see if that uh, helps it. Um, but yeah, so 40 pound PR in eight weeks. Very good for me. I'm happy. Uh, so our goal, our goal, depending on how long the next program is, is probably going to be an eight week program. That's what a lot of the squabbles seem to be. Eight or eight or twelve, almost like the eight. Um, our goal, we do try to shoot for five hundred. Um, we were planning, we were assuming we get five hundred at the end of the year. And as uh, for deadlift, I try to get it in like another month or so. Like I did it, even though my current PR is four seventy five, and I think I almost got four ninety five uh, last time I tried. Um, we would we would probably get like 495 just out of month. We might even pass 500, but um, we were shooting for at least 495 for uh, this uh, week because I, the last half of the last four weeks of the of the lift kind of shit because it was a fucked program. But um, we're shooting for four, for 495, so we would probably get 500 next month if we try to kill our again. Um, and then as for a squat, we, as I said, we were, gonna, we were aiming for the end of the year, but now we're going to aim for the end of this next program. So I'm going to really look into a program that I feel will work for me. Because even with this program, you know, a lot of factors going to be working out, hungry, sleepy, no energy, been a long day, you might be sick. Um, a lot of these, my squat sessions, I didn't, I didn't complete them fully. I might have been a set less. Uh, usually it was like a set less that I missed, um, especially on the heavy days. So we're gonna look for a program that really fits what we're capable of. And then also, which is this week gonna be a testing week to see if we eat the correct food before, like the good, some good carbs. I mean, not good, I guess, but some carbs right before, directly before we work out. If that uh, is enough fuel for the workout like I'll say was. Even though all I do is squat, still. And then, um, also with the more volume of exercise accessories, I feel like if everything goes well, then we'll hit 500 at the end of this program, for at the end of the next program for squat, and then for deadlift, who knows, 550. And then bench, bench is gonna be, I feel like bench might be a while. Um, I think bench might, might take a while to see the 405 bench. 345 is the current PR, we still got four weeks till we max out on that. Cause we're on week nine, we PR with 13 yet, so we got four more weeks for that. We're gonna shoot for 360. I don't know. But 355, 360 would be our, our, our record, our goal. Because probably because on this bench program, I put some reason that's my PR is 345 and it was 340. So I hit a PR in training because uh, this set, this uh, program, the graduate program has you do uh, like three.
three, three sessions where you hit your PR for a single. And I hit my first one, I think, last week. I did 345. So I had a five pound PR in training. So we'll, we'll probably shoot for 355. But um, the visit was almost shit, I got a lot of editing to do. Um, but I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I feel like next year is going to be a good year for us. If everything goes well, I feel like next year will be, you know, when we start actually putting, putting up some nice numbers. Um, this year is pretty much going to be. You know, focusing on technique with everything, uh, actually getting to a routine where we don't have to keep changing up workouts, like adding volume and all that. Just get to a point where we are, we have what we need, and we the the, the rep sets we do is what we need. And at that point, it's just time uh, to progress. But, um, I mean, it's only June. I still got six months in the year, so six months to put up. 50 pounds on squat, 50 pounds on deadlift, 50 pounds on bench, and it could be possible.